Good morning. Uh, this is Dr. David Goldenberg. Uh, today we're going to be doing some excisions of some benign facial lesions. So we will be giving local anesthesia to start and then we'll do prepping and then we'll do the excisions one by one and show you the, the surgical technique that I use to uh, leave as little a scar as possible and get a great result. One, two, three. This whole process is probably going to take us about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Okay. Mostly because we, we let all the local work. Okay. Just hold still for me. One, two, three. Another one down here. One, two, three. This is going to hurt because this is like right on your lip there. Okay. You're doing great. Nice and easy. You're doing great so far. You get all this really, really, really done. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first we, I'm going to go around and meticulously prep everything here with, uh, with some betadine. Get everything all prepped up here and nice and brown. <laughs> and then we'll sequentially remove these in the order that we gave the local. I, and then put in a subcuticular stitch like that as a preliminary closure. And then I'll follow with some 6 0 proline. get this closed precisely. These will be at the end. These will be covered with steri strips to uh, keep them sealed. And you can see how that gives a nice closure there. Any pain? Mm -hmm. Good. I'm doing great. Okay. Goldberg, why do you choose that suture material? Well, proline is a very, very non-reactive material. It's much less reactive than any others, and it's very, very slippery. Um, other suture materials like nylon are a little harder to remove because they're not quite as slippery. Um, uh, so that's really why we choose proline, but the real reason I choose it is because it's it's blue and it matches my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. And then how many days is it uh, before you take the suture material out? These stitches will stay in for six days. Mm -hmm. We're kind of fussy about that, uh, how long they will stay in. Um, 
mostly because if the stitches are left in too long, they'll leave little suture marks, mm -hmm. which are very, very bad. So they come out pretty fast. The wound edges themselves are sealed within about 24 hours, but we like to keep we like to keep starry strips on to support things a little bit while they're healing. So the whole process of healing takes about really it can take as long as about three months depending on the age of the patient. Uh, but the idea is to set up optimal conditions by getting a starting with a precise removal, a good closure, you know, punctual removal of stitches, and then good aftercare, including some moisturizer, things like that. Okay, all right, that's two. Okay, so now turn to me a little bit and chin up just a bit like that, okay? Everything is, all of the incisions are marked along resting skin tension lines. Smile. Mm -hmm. So this one we're going to alter just a little bit. Part of the problem that occurs sometimes is that patients can have crossing resting skin tension lines. and and it can go in two different directions. So what I do is I pick the dominant one, what I think the dominant line is, and the proof that the excision is done correctly is that if the, if the actual excision is the same shape as the size of the markings along the resting skin tension lines, it shows that it was done correctly. In other words, if RSTL lines distort the closure, it means that you didn't pick the dominant lines. In this case, you can see that the excision is exactly the same as the markings, which shows that it was in the right place. It kind of proves that it was in the right place. Mm -hmm. And then again, we try to do is get as good a, a dermal to dermal closure as possible so that a neat, clean closure. And then we just put some, oh, this is a 6-O-proline on a P3 needle, which is just uh, appropriate for this type of a closure. And we can get a nice dermal to dermal closure here that will gradually fade away. And Dr. Bumbert has lots of tricks up his sleeve from managing your, your wound afterwards, so mm. stay tuned. Well, the most important thing actually is wearing the tapes as long as, as, long as possible, even several weeks, because that supports the skin while it's healing. Um, if we don't do that, the skin can stretch a little bit and the scar can stretch. We don't want that. We want everything to heal with no tension on the scar whatsoever. That's what we want to do. Virginia, mm -hmm. we need about six hours mm -hmm. more, okay? So she'll remove the Telfer in 24 hours, but these tapes stay on until next week. They stay on six days, and then the incisions are re-taped re after that.